M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're going to have a go at setting up this O-Star hotspot. These do not require an SD card and use the O-Star system, not the Pi-Star system. Uh, the good thing is that from AliExpress, they're only about 60, 65 pound delivered and they work on DMR D-Star Fusion ETC. So, okay, well, the first thing you do is turn it on and it starts to say O-Star on the front and all the lights start flashing. Uh, there, remember, there's no Raspberry Pi in this. There's a USB board in the base of this. So we click Wi-Fi first, and click to look at all our Wi-Fi you know, items that are available, and one of them will be called OSTAR-16D8. Yours may have a different number, but don't worry, but the password is gonna just be where the flat line is, is gonna be at. So the password we're gonna need in a minute is gonna be O star at 16 D8. Your one will be slightly different. So let's click it and connect. And then we're gonna put in the, the password. So it was, so we'll go cap, capitals O star at 16 D8, 16 and then D8. And if we've got that typed correctly, we should log into the interface to set this up. So as enable, let's do it again. All right, so we're in, and so you'll you'll get to this point, and then you need to put in a pass, um, sorry, an IP address, 192.168.10.1. When you do that, you'll get some small lines appear here on the top left. See if I can do that again, I'll just go back. To just put the numbers in and look, OSTAR dashboard, it says L-U-C-I. You get this and then it goes to this page here. Now we're going to set up connecting to our internet. We'll do now then, we'll click settings. The default password is one, two, three, four, five for now. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll log in. That gets us Leave it as what you can. We will be changing that password, but for now we're straight in there. Look, general settings. We can even start adding our call sign and things now. So let's just do it. M zero F X B DMR number two three four one four three seven simplex hotspot. Scroll down the frequency. I'm going to use is four three. But I'll leave it as that, 4345000. And then we can always change that. You just change the number. We won't put our location in now, but if you want to put in your location, look, you can just start typing that in here. Even set TX power, more location. So that all looks fine to me. Just double check in. So we'll just click save there for now. Then we'll go to digital modes. I'm going as fast as this is now. We're gonna just start it off just doing Brownmeister UK, I think. So we'll go, go down to Brownmeister UK, put a password in that we're going to use. Okay, enable DMR mode. Now you could enable other modes. You've got YSF here, P25, NXDN, and then D-Star. Well, I'm not gonna do that in this video. We're just gonna get DMR working. And then I'll probably do YSF next. I might just put down that we're gonna go to CQ UK on that one. I'm not going, enable, not going to enable it. We just wanna try one thing out. Click save. Like so. Right, now we're gonna to go to our internet. So we go services, then travel mate. I know it's a bit strange that it says travel mate, but what we're setting up is the a connection to our router at home. So we leave all of this. This is, I don't think we need to touch this yet, but we do need to go to wireless stations. There's the one that it's using that was set up, you know, for us, but we're gonna add one. 
Let's try scan. Does they scan that? There? there you are. It's found one already. So let's uh, click that. It says add up link, and we can get our password in here. So look, it says that's the name. I'm just gonna put my password in there. Hopefully, we can go save. And then, because that's the one we want to use, I'm going to tell it to go up. So it uses that first. Now, while we're here, I'm going to have a quick look at administration and radio. So let's do a radio first. Yeah, that would be our dashboard. Then we'll go to settings. Settings, back to digital. When you go to digital, you get more options here. Let's have a quick look at settings on radio. Oh, no, that's, the, that's where, what we did at the beginning. Travel mate, we've done. Services, travel mate. So we're going to go save and apply this time. And I'm going to get a radio that is on that frequency and see if it comes to life. What I will do though is go to settings. Then we'll go back to digi mode. It says no password, so I think we should get that in. So we'll go to, at the top, System, Administration. And we're going to set a password here. So I'll put mine in and then I'll click Save. Um, so what happens, when you log into this, this IP address again, it'll give you a new IP address possibly. You'll have to put in a password that you remember so that others can't log into your computer, basically. So now it says at the top that the password has been saved and now it wants me to log to log back in. So let's just go to back to the dashboard. Okay, we seem to be showing up. We, we hit dashboard and we're showing up. A couple of things I noticed though. I did create myself a new password. And it does save it. I noticed in some of the advanced settings, if you go digi modes, like so, and go advanced, you've got these. So look, for example, so we're on MMDVM host, and you can put in the frequency which we've got. DMR idea at the top, two, three, four, and four. I've got my call sign. CW DMR look. So I added a few. Well, I put my details in there as well. And near the bottom, there was one called. Where's it gone? Look, you got OLED there. Invert. No, I want. I want. I think I want to invert mine because. It's the uh, it's facing the wrong way here. It rotate. That's the one. Pretty sure you just change that to a one. You're gambling now. What I'll do, I'll take a photograph of it to make sure I don't forget. Just playing now. Nextian screen. We're not using that. Poxag, NXDN, P25, Fusion. So there's quite a learning curve here. DMR, D star. So I noticed that adding the details there did help. Save and reload. I wonder if that flipped the screen. That'll be interesting. See the way it says close. That actually has worked. <laughs> it's now facing the right way up. I can 
have the power lead coming from the top. There's YSF, P25, NXDN. What's your IRC DDB? Is that DMR? And then DACnet. And again, we can add our call sign and details. Travel mate, let's go back to that. Travel mate is effectively where you're going to do your Wi Fi look. Wireless station, alert, username, password. Okay, more later C4FM and D Star. Bye for now, 73.